in there. A community pulling together tonight to support a beloved baker. She was hurt in a violent robbery, leaving her on life support. Now, remember what the people said in that earlier um, vi uh, comment section to that video with that son man and that white woman. White women, you know, a white woman, they're so protected. You got to tiptoe around white women. Man, y'all got to share these videos, man. Every fucking day we got a fucking video of some white woman getting fucking fucked all the way up by some sun man in public. Most times it's in public, broad daylight. Jen is That's why I was thinking PTSD um, reaction so on the first one. Uh, she seemed too hysterical to her to be just racism. I think it was it was some reaction. I was thinking that a too. community pulling together tonight to support a beloved baker. She was hurt in a violent robbery, leaving her on life support. Jen is nothing but a community builder. Um, so everywhere she goes is bringing people together as an organizer, as a friendly face, as a beacon of energy and hope and positivity. Friends and family hoping for a miracle after Jen Angel was reportedly dragged while trying to stop robbers from getting away with her things. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meback. Oakland police say the robbery happened right near Webster and 21st Streets just after 1230 Monday afternoon, middle of the day. New at 10, KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama joins us from Oakland. She spoke with the woman's friends about how they are trying to support her fiance and family. Jenna. Mike and Julie, people are just so heartbroken by this attempted robbery that ended up with their friend now in the hospital. They say people have been going there all day to try and give support to her, her mother and her fiance who have been there. And they say tonight, hundreds of people are praying for Jen Angel. The doors of Angel Cakes Bakery were open Wednesday. The small business that rose from a rundown corner in Oakland was the sweet dream of its... That building was probably there since the 60s, since the 68 riots, <laughs> and some people didn't do shit with it. Here comes this fucking glider woman with a fucking dream, a dollar and a dream. And she turned it into a business that probably was been on all types of shows and all types of fucking magazines and shit. But is it me or does that area look dangerous? Do it look what? Dangerous. That area looks dangerous, and she probably only got access to that to to to, to do business out of that building because then nobody else want to be there. Yeah, well, Oakland is a shithole. Yeah. No, no, no. She want no. She wanted. She she's a glider, right? She wanted to. She wanted to bring back to the community. She was going to. No, no, no. Uplift um, the whole is right. They get loans because those areas are very high crime areas. So they get women, women and minorities get loans to put in businesses in those areas yeah, because they're, they're very dangerous. Listen, very dangerous. Uh, no, for the for the glider women, it's about it's about virtual signaling and they 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 have the choice they could put they could put the uh their their business in the nicest part of the nicest neighborhood well, well, well hold on hold on hold on listen to this man i i lived on 8th street 8th and h washington dc for a long time and that place was destroyed by the 68 riots and up until the mid 2000s it looked as if the riots happened last week because the Sun people did not fix the main block because the, the back blocks are residential, but the main block, which is like an Avenue H Street, that's all zoned for business. So there's no residential on there. And everything got burned to the ground in 68. And everything, if you went there in 98, if you went there in 2002, it looked the exact same. Oh yeah, William Gliders Bird, came William, along and right. fixed it up. You can't shake a throw, shake a stick at that man. But Williams Williamsburg, Brooklyn was the same. Williamsburg burnt to the ground during the '77 uh, blackout. Did you ever see the, the the videos of that? In, in right. New York, where, where, yeah, they just like what I'm, what I'm saying is that you, you're 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 discounting that as if that's nothing. That pl if that place 
was like that for a long time. The people finally did something with it should be commended. But the, uh, I mean, I, I agree, actually. But the angle I'm coming at is that, and I don't know this woman from, from Adam, so I could be wrong, but she just strikes me as being one of those gliders from the lower end, from the wrong side of the tracks, who had a dream and a dollar. And when she was looking for places to go, to rent, to do her business in Oakland, California, the most one of the most expensive cities in the damn world, she found a spot. It just so happened to be in the middle of Sunnistan. And one of the well, wealthiest cities in the world. Well, somebody tell us where this, this Angel Cakes place is, man. Let me let me move along. Of Angel Cakes Bakery were open Wednesday. The small business that rose from a rundown corner in Oakland was the sweet dream of its founder, Jen Angel. She had such a hard time keeping it going during the pandemic. And then there was the car crash that ruined the front of the bakery. And it was so important to her to keep it going, to keep, you know, to keep the jobs for the people that she supported. Wednesday afternoon, friends gathered, bringing love and hugs as Angel lay in a hospital across town. She's on life support and um, um, she's um, probably not going to make it. She brought people together who needed each other and who could help each other and love each other. Angel was downtown about 1230 Monday afternoon near Wells Fargo Bank. Oakland police. 1230. She's white. It's 1230. It's broad daylight. The bank, plenty of cameras. A sun man would be fucking insane to even look at her, right? But uh, up, they, they're the tree, robbing right? people in broad daylight there. There was a Vietnamese dentist there a couple of months ago. They tried carjacking her. They shot her in the head at 10 o'clock in the morning while she's sitting in her car and he took off. To, I oh, mean, I'm to, telling you, Oakland is gone. It's a to no take, To zone. take you back, to take you back, because uh, I'm sorry I, I got in late on that Ridgewood story, but I used to live in Ridgewood and it was a gr really nice that was the neighborhood where that crazy guy was uh, was attacking all the women wow. in brooklyn it's uh, it's actually straddles the uh it straddles the the borderline of brooklyn and queens and it was a nice affordable neighborhood super safe really safe and uh and now that's been turned to garbage yeah Police say someone broke into her car while she was sitting there and grabbed some items. She got out of her car and tried to get the items back, but the suspects drove off, reportedly dragging her as they got away. She was taken to the hospital with head injury. Okay, so this woman, I mean, I don't know what to say, man. She's sitting there and someone went into her car while she was there. And she, it took her so... Oh, so uh, it went into businesses. I they right in San Francisco, they run into the CVS. The police are right there yeah. and they just clean the whole shelves off. I'm telling yeah. you, it's it's a no-go zone. Yeah. It's a no-go zone. So I, I pulled up Angel Cakes and right next to Angel Cakes runs like an elevated train. And on the mm -hmm. other side of the elevated train tracks, I mean, literally like 50 feet away, it looks like Somalia with a junkyard in the back. <laughs> So she's, but, but, well, so she's, yeah, so she's, she's, she's in the jungle, but this didn't happen in the jungle. This happened at the bank of a place where she should have been, you know, expected, you know, a, 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 this is a normal thing. She wasn't doing something like out of the norm. She was doing something normal. Some like the only thing she did wrong, I think was chase after the guys, like, just don't do not that. have your car doors locked. Yeah, when you're sitting in your car, definitely have your car doors locked. Each other and love each other. Angel was downtown about 1230 Monday afternoon near Wells Fargo Bank. Oakland police say someone broke into her car while she was sitting there and grabbed some items. She got out of her car and tried to get the items back, but the suspects drove off, reportedly dragging her as they got away. She was taken to the hospital with head injuries. See, Unfortunately, see, her, her she problem. hasn't regained consciousness. You know what her problem was? She expected the people who would, they said broke into her car. So I'm expecting they smashed the window while she was actually sitting in the car. She did not have the doors open. And, and, and she expected that if she went out to get the stuff back, 
that they would stop the car and not drag her to her death. You know what or I they mean? Would just she stop was like, and they just right. stop, drop her stuff, and run. Or, or yeah, but but she thought, oh, okay, I, I caught them. They'll they'll stop fair and square. It's like you know what it's like. It's like you go to see a Disney movie, right? And the bears are all friendly and happy, and you can walk up to them, and you know they take your sandwich, but you could take it back. You know, they eat the honey. They they eating the, they eating the jar right. They're, honey eat, they're eating honey, and they're all nice, and they talk, <laughs> and they actually talk English too, and everything. You know. But reality yeah, is, if you pants. right. But reality <laughs> is, if you walked up to some real bears, you know, and that's what this woman she she's been going to all these yeah. like you know sensitivity training sessions and stuff, and she thought, oh, they're just misguided. They need a sandwich or something like you that. You sound a and, lot like fishermen, yeah. man. You sound like you sound <laughs> like you taking you take whatever fishermen. Whatever fisherman pill that you think whatever he's smoking, <laughs> whatever the, smoking. The, the truth pill is that what we're talking about, Og? That one that tells the truth, even though it's everybody wants pill. to fuck glider women. It's it's called crystal meth, Og. Right? Yeah, I, listen, I, I, I listen, Mrs. Rob, Mrs. Rob, please refrain from uh, accusing me of doing drugs. <laughs> I, I mean, I, mean, I just, I just she think hasn't that, let me move on, let me move on. and it seems pretty unlikely that she will. She was a baker. She was a community gatherer, like I said. She also was a political activist. Part of what's so special about Jen is, is the way that she did had you it. hear that? Did, well, did, well, did, well, I, did I call it? Did I call it or did I call it? Yeah, did I mean. I it, 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 listen, man. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have argued that. I didn't argue that. I, I was waiting for it, but I just, I can't. Confirm she it. wanted to serve the underserved community with her. Yeah, and, and, there, and therefore she felt that the she felt that those guys who had stolen the stuff, they were just kind of misguided, and she'll get out of the car and get the stuff back, and you know, no harm, no foul. You know, didn't they have a show about this? Cupcake place or something? Probably so. I mean, she probably been on one of those shows. Yeah, Cupcake. They got a lot of Food Network or Cooking Channel, whatever the fuck. Unlikely that she will. She was a baker. She was a community gatherer, like I said. She also was a political activist. Part of what's so special about Jen is, is the way that she had all of these, all these threads of her that were interwoven throughout throughout her life. There's a gathering at a community space tonight to honor Jen, uh, and there's about 550 people invited on Facebook. That gives you a little sense of just locally how many people are connecting, how many lives she's touched. Friends say Jen Angel uh, okay, was a so baker, but also had the so, ingredient. Supposedly, she's been helping all of these, the folks in the neighborhood, right? She's been helping them. Who, who I, she touched all these people and helped out the downtrodden in her neighborhood. But everybody that I see that knows her, they're all wealthy gliders. Exactly. But, but whose money do you think the fun, whatever fundraise? Like, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Let, let, let's cut the bullshit. Like, she's still alive, right, up until this point. So she obviously had been around, not been around those people. You know, a chance encounter with one of them cost her her life. So she feeds them with a long spoon. She that she's in her business is in there, so she's she's on. So you have to get rid of She's in there. She's liable to get robbed, you know, killed on the way to her car. She it just she struck out, man. She just struck out. I think couldn't you say in a roundabout way she um she killed herself, being that she's an activist in Oakland which means she's woke as fuck and was defund the police and BLM. So, and, and supporting the crazy politicians on the city council and the mayor, she kind of caused this on herself in a roundabout way. I mean, what's, and what's, crazy, what's yeah. crazy to me is that this is Mrs. Diversity and I don't see any diversity at all amongst her friends. They're all, all even the same what? age. There's That's right. Diversity of age. Hey, 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 but I, but I'm more blunt. I think, simply put, the sunman killed her. Yeah, as opposed I to mean, all this extra shit. Yeah, exactly. She she had a chance encounter, in a while running errands, she handled it very wrong. She made critical mistakes, 
and it cost her a life. Baker, but also had the ingredients of a loving friend and connector, helping to mix people from different backgrounds and her past as a punk rock writer and political activist into a community. She always but, asked that we, mix we people from different talk to somebody backgrounds. we don't know and to make new friends. Jen has really taught me to think about what is that space in between the black and white and what are the nuances of life and decisions and connections. Friends, well, what, her well, fiance we, and hold family. Hold on a second. Now. It's like, it's like it mixed people from different backgrounds. What do you mean? Some are from Groton, Connecticut and some are from old, you know, old Greenwich? I mean, it's like, it's like I don't see anybody from different backgrounds over there. This one right here, she's nah, very spacey nah. and earthy. And she's, and she's, you know, she, she, they seem like a bunch of hippies, a bunch of yeah, white a bunch hippies. of hippies, a bunch of white hippies, yeah. exactly. That's all they are, you know. But let, let me, let me move along. Let me move along. Life and decisions and connections. Friends, her fiance and family, now all praying for their angel. And those friends have set up a website on GoFundMe to ask for donations to help with medical expenses and also to keep the bakery open. As for the investigation, they still do not have those suspects. I reached out to Oakland police asking if they had any leads or any information. They sent me a statement and said that it is under investigation and they had no further details. They would like any tips if anyone in the community has them. Mike. I was going to ask Surprise. you in that area, a Surprise. lot of cameras, a lot of businesses so far, police saying no, no video out there showing the vehicle involved in this incident. I asked them about that. There are banks along there. You would think that there will be some sort of security camera footage, but at this point, so. police are not providing any details. All right. Jenna Katsuyama, live tonight in Oakland. Jenna, thank you. And this just ends at the KTVU newsroom. We have learned that the Oakland baker who was hurt during a robbery has now died. Loved ones tell us that 48 year old Jen Angel died just before six o'clock this evening. She is the owner of Angel Cakes Bakery near the intersection of Probably Fifth and Rush Streets here vegetable. in Oakland. So she's dead, man. This is this. The hey, at, at least she can still vote Democrat. <laughs> it's crazy. That's sick, man. Of the three <laughs> times. <laughs> That's why, that's, why I, that's why I said I want to be buried in uh, in Philadelphia so I can keep on voting. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen. She, she is part of that MSNBC crowd, that CNN crowd, that Young Turks crowd, and they're ignoring her death. Like, just think about it. Her death will go completely ignored by the people who she idolized ideologically ideologically completely meaningless. Yeah, like Damn. they have to ignore it. The reason the only way, the only way they would have cared is if Kyle Rittenhouse would have shot her instead. No, hold on. Whether they care or not I is 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 is, 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 is we don't know. They may care. They can't touch this because they know Sunman killed her. Exactly. They it, it, exactly. Yeah. They may they'll, care. They may care they'll they'll say the vaccine killed her before they say the sun man her killed friends, her. Her friends, her friends can't say a word. I mean, no. When at the funeral, they won't be able to say a word. They'll never be able to acknowledge it. And yeah. dear God, don't let it have been an illegal immigrant fresh from the border who did this shit. Yeah. This is this like is an sad. illegal immigrant that raped someone. Uh, underage, and they sought an abortion. This is this is sad, man. This is very sad, man. This woman, I mean, she did everything right by their rules. She went into the ghetto. She made had a business. She politically active with all the woke stuff. She did. She checked every box. She was gruesomely murdered in a public place in a major city. And it's going to be a local story. And Dra not dragged get out of Oakland. Dragged to her death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It, well, and her head probably got smushed like a grape from the sounds of it. Probably the think, tire got her. Yeah, think about how much she's contributed to society compared to Tyree Nichols. 
she's contributed way more to the economy, politically, to the you know, just just she's created created jobs. I bet hood. she like I bet she, she even she, like sisters more than he did. To the hood. <laughs> To the hood, she she yeah. actually created more stuff in the hood too, right? And you can't touch this. Salute to Christy Webster, man. Christy Webster, aka I ain't even called can Michael Babe Ruth Jordan. Christy Bezos. Christy Bezos. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. She the, she the, she the, she the goat, man. Christy is the goat, man. Salute to you, Christy, man. Christy is definitely the goat, man. It's 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 getting to the point, man, where like I don't even know I don't even know if anybody can, is ever gonna be able to mess with Christy, man. Yeah, Chris, um, Christy Christy should go donate to uh, Angel Cakes to keep it open so the Sun Men have something to steal. <laughs> that that's a problem. They they never even you know. You would have thought that she would have gotten attacked at the business. Well, you know? here's the thing, though. Th th that may come out later that there Meanwhile, was some attacks. But, 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 but as of, as of right now, yo, 